Today we've got a Tesla Model 3. Follow along and I'll show you how to install these aftermarket VLAN taillights. So in the box we've got four pieces, two for the inner, two for the outer, and along with all the wiring. So first off, we've got to remove the panel just underneath here. There's just two clips, one on each side, one under there, and one on that side there. Grab a pry tool in there, and pop that clip out. And then the rest of it should just pop out. So once that top trim is out, just pull back the carpet to access the two nuts here. So there is a plug behind here with a little red clip on it. Just need to pop that clip back and we should be able to pull the plug out. And once that's done, there's just a screw on top. Once that's undone, tail light should pop out and there we go. So to reinstall it, we just reverse the process. Just run these wires through. Straight back in, pop that top screw back in, and just do up these. All right, so once the tail light is in, you just have to re plug it up. All right, so we're just going to repeat the process for the other side. One screw on top, and just the two behind. So before we run any of the wires, we'll um, replace the inners first. So to do that, we'll just have to take off this back trim, which are all just held on by clips. And that should just pop off. Just a few clips behind. Now to remove the inner tail lights, there's again another red clip for the plug. Just pull that back and we should be able to undo that plug. And we've just got another eight mil nut just behind there. So after the nut is undone, we'll just get a pry tool and just Wedge it under there. And now she comes. We'll now replace it with the aftermarket tail light. Just feed the wires through the hole. That should clip in there. And we we'll just tighten up that nut behind. Plug in the wiring harness. Supplied is a pair of adapters as well, which should plug into there and then into the original harness. Push that back down just to lock it in. And there we go. And we just do the same for the other side.
may need to unplug the harness first to get the wires through. Now that the tail lights are installed, we'll go ahead and do the wiring. So basically all we need to do is run these wires up this rubber tubing here and just to plug into the back of that. Um, and that's pretty much for the show modes and the sequential indicators. So these rubbers just pop right off. And with this one, just give it a bit of a squeeze. make it easier I'm just going to undo these zip ties and just through this hole under here screw the wire through up there just grab a feeder Go down the tube. So once you got the feeder through, we just tape the wires onto it. And feed it through. Alright. it for the wiring and just repeat the process for the other side and put it all back together so for the left hand side we'll just run the wires through the top um, and that also goes through that same tube but it will have to cross over to the other side So you can use the feeder again, or in this case, I'm just gonna tape it to the same wire as before and pull it through. Feed the wire through to the other side plug in there and we'll just put this plug back properly so it doesn't leak. Which we'll just clip in and just put these zip ties back on. This just plugs straight back in. Make sure we put that back properly so there's no leaks there either. Just put a couple of zip ties to neaten it all up. Just make sure that all these little clips are on the back of the of this piece here. And you should better just clip them all back on. Neaten up the boot. Make sure 
everything's back in its place. And then we just reinstall this top trim. All right, and that's it, she's all done. All right, so that's our quick tutorial on how to replace the OEM taillights with these aftermarket ones from V-Land. <laughs>